I'm Maria Sharapova, and I'm going to give you a little tour of the dresses that I have worn um, throughout my career and the many different styles and types and colors and uh, grand slams, and yeah, it's all here. This is one of the most special dresses that I wore in a grand slam. The reason why it went so well is because I won in it. Um, and this was U.S. Open 2006. Um, this was for night matches. There's something so unique about this dress because when it's on a hanger and you just kind of look at it, you think, well, the silhouette and the shape is, is pretty simple. Um, but when I put it on, I there's something really special about it in a way that it fit and the way that it felt. The neckline was very, very different to a traditional dress that you see on the courts. It's usually um, straps, you know, the, the open back and the three buttons and, you know, the, the ribbon across the waist and the little bow. Um, it was very feminine and I think it was perfect for a U.S. Open night dress. This dress was U.S. Open 2007, and after the huge success of the Audrey Hepburn-inspired dress, we thought, well, how do we top that? How do we make it better? How do we make it more interesting? And uh, we had some stiff competition with the black ones, so we thought, okay, we're not going to do black because you know we did that last year. Um, we're going to move into something that's brighter, and we thought New York, the big apple, the big red apple, and... We did red, um, very bright red. Um, we worked with a, a graphic artist to create this, um, you know, the, the city skyline, um, which, you know, when you look at it, you can't really see if you pay attention to the details and you see the map of what it was, um, you know, done after. You could see the, you know, it's very visible what, what part of town it was. And, um, of course, it's Swarovski crystals. It has some really neat details in the back as well because we had that open back in 2006, so we wanted to recreate that. and. We get a little bit more simple um, with these, you know, cute little buttons in the back. So it was very fun to walk out in and, and has some really neat details. See, I look at this dress and it makes me smile. <laughs> Obviously, this is very special because I won my first Grand Slam in it. And um, it, was, uh, it was unique because at Wimbledon, you don't. I've never hadn't worn anything so open before, especially in the shoulders. As simple as it was, it means so much to me, and I look back at it, and it's certainly one of my favorite dresses that I've worn. This dress is French Open 2008. When I look at this dress, I automatically think France. <laughs> um, it, is a, it is very sophisticated and, and very unique in the way that against the red clay, um, you know, the navy really popped and, and you have these very subtle details of, of ribbon in this, um, you know, almost sail white color. Um, and it just, in the back, we actually had a Tiffany pearl in the back to really add to the French effect. This was Wimbledon 09. I found it really special because, as, as you know, Wimbledon, you only wear white. Every year we try to, you know, do something different with white and make it unique. Um, so we play around with uh, materials and, and textures, and you could see the details of this dress and how it um, kind of flows around, along the waist here and along the chest area. And, um, and you have this ribbon that gives it gives us this effect because it's in sale and it's not all white. We can get away with that, so that's good. And you have this cord that goes down that is, actually this whole dress was handmade. Um, and this cord gives the dress this volume in the bottom and the shape instead of it being straight down. It really creates these really nice curves. And the stripes in the back were, were really pretty. It ga gave it a great shape in the back, something that, you know, you don't, you rarely see in tennis dresses. This is Australian Open in 2007, and this was the first time we did embroidery on a dress, um, which was pretty unique because it had these uh, lotus flowers, and on my warm-up you had my initials engraved. It was, it was very interesting because it was very artistic. Um, and you had this corset detail in the back, which was just in the back panel, um, and we, had this, we added this ribbon to make it a little bit more feminine, but 
it's a it's a little bit stiffer um, this part of the back than the rest of the area so kind of aligned in the back really well and, and was, was a little firmer than the rest of the dress so it gave it a an interesting feel when you were wearing it this was Sony Ericsson in 2006 this is one piece I actually did not expect to be wearing at the time. I had a meeting and they brought this top from a um, from their dance collection that was just coming out and it was uh, inspired by dance and, and this corset type, very different, zipped up in the front and um, it was one of the most unique things that I've worn because in, your, in the dressing room you're zipping up your top through the front and it's like this little um, corset top and it was just it was really unique and I really enjoyed wearing it.